What is going on, people? It is October. It is Halloween time on the channel. Tons of Halloween horror content pretty much every single day. I got a few days where it's like non-Halloween, but for the most part, all Halloween-centric. For the entire month, all 31 days, well, from now until the end of the month. For example, today we are talking about five new Halloween films I would recommend. Last year, I made a video talking about some horror movies I think you should check out, and now I got five more. Maybe you've heard of them, maybe you haven't. Let's do it. In no particular order, let's start with Beetlejuice 2. The reason I say Beetlejuice 2 is last is because I think this is the weakest of the films, like on this list, but damn it, dude. It's, uh, it's a great Halloween film. It feels really Halloween. It feels really fall, and that's why I put it on this list. Don't get me wrong, the movie is still enjoyable. I'm not saying not to watch it. I'm not saying not to revisit this film from time to time. Sure, it might not be like an every year kind of situation, right? But, 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 you know, you gotta, you, you gotta visit it a few years. It's like that old wrinkly uncle you got, and it's like every few years, uh, okay, man, we should probably go visit him. You know, he's just getting more wrinkly. Michael Keaton is great. In fact, the whole entire cast is great. Catherine O'Hara and underwriter Jen Ortega, everybody in this movie is great. Willem Dafoe, underrated in this movie. Like I said, in my opinion, the weakest on this list as far as the quality of the film goes. It's not like amazing, but it's fun. And you know, you need some movies for the people that aren't into horror also. So I mean, we gotta think about them. They're human too. Up next, I have Freaky. I watched Freaky not too long ago. I made a video talking about Catherine Newton in that movie. And I enjoyed this one a lot too. Kind of similar for Beetlejuice 2. It's not even necessarily like a Halloween film, but it fits that like kind of scary, kind of fun vibe. A movie that I think works as a pretty decent gateway entry point for people that aren't into the genre. I think they could watch this and you know, you know, they could, they could like it. You could like it, right? It's got a little something for everyone. Vince Vaughn and Catherine Newton are the standouts of this film, but you know, everyone else is pretty fun too. It's a pretty enjoyable film. After that, I have another film from this year, Late Night with the Devil. This movie, again, not particularly like, you know, Halloween-y, halloween, -y, halloween -y, but just the, it fits the vibe. Because I think that's important for a lot of these films to kind of have not even like a like a more, like a lighter feel to them, but it has to have, but it can't just be like, I think super dark. It has to have some, you know, uh, like uh, some lightness to it almost. I'm kind of struggling to find the word. Some aspect to it that takes you away from just like dark, demon, evil, 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 evil. No, it has to have like a feeling that matches Halloween more in the fall. This probably doesn't make any sense, but it makes sense in my head. <laughs> Uh, yeah, just trust me. Just watch it around Halloween time if it's the vibe. I'm getting more incoherent as we're talking. I'm gonna be out of town this weekend, so I have to record like seven J Stuff videos in a row right now. I'm going insane, but I'm making my way through it. Up next, I have Fright Night. Again, doesn't take place, you know, on Halloween night. I, I don't think so. I don't, yeah, no, I watched this movie like a few months ago. But damn, dude, this movie's a great time. I think. Some of my favorite Halloween movies kind of have that like that 80s feel to them, that 80s aesthetic, those practical effects, you know, wander around the town, there's a mystery going on. That's Fright Night, and I love it, dude. I love this movie. Again, th the first one, the first one, not the one with Colin Farrell. I haven't seen that one, so no shade to it, but you know, I, I can only vouch for this movie. For a horror movie, it's surprisingly bright and vibrant as far as like the colors and the color grading though. One of those ones where it's like, you're in a spooky house, lightning strikes in the background. Then there's a vampire. Welcome to Fright Night, for real. Love this movie, dude. Great characters. Yeah, there's some cheesy acting, but you know, that's that's uh, kind of the Halloween quintessential experience. In first place though, I have Hell House LLC. I talked about this movie a few times now across both my channels. I just watched it not too long ago. I stumbled across it a few weeks ago. Dude, I had such a great time with this video. It's a found footage film about this group that wants to make a haunted house in a actual abandoned haunted hotel. Things very expectingly go bad, go wrong. Things got a little spooky. And dude, the vibe's awesome. I love this movie. It's all focused around Halloween, the holiday, but it also is scary. You know, it fits that vibe really well because 
pretty much the whole entire film takes place in this haunted house. It's terrific. What movies do you recommend for the Halloween season? Those are my five. I got some more videos coming out. Tomorrow, I have five movies that would make for the best haunted house mazes. So Universal, not uh, Scary Farm, anyone like that, you wanna hit me up, you know, uh, hire me to give you some more ideas. Hey, I got you. Until then, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later. Hit subscribe.